Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, we've got some updates on our arrow gardens. We have some updates on running. So stick around. You're about to find out. Oh, good God. That was so bumpy. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. First things first. Arrow garden. First things first. We're in the car. <laughs> yeah. We went to town today. <clears throat> I did some grocery shopping. Had some lunch and now we're on our way back. But, you know, since it's a 40 minute drive back, we thought we would take this opportunity to uh, record a little recap of our uh, latest week in the life of these weirdos. Uh, so our arrow gardens hit six weeks of being planted um, on Friday. They are doing awesome. This week we had tomato flowers open. So I have been pollinating them. Um, it may be too early to actually get some tomatoes, but we'll see. Um, so that's promising. It's doing really, really great. We've also had several pizzas uh, that we've made this week. With A, we've had several pizzas that we made this week, so it was a great week. But secondly, um, with basil that we grew oh, yeah. on it. Yeah. And it was awesome. Oh, yeah. um, and the little pepper plants are doing great too. Um, they had a slower start than everything else, so um, it'll be a while before we start um, you know, doing any pollinating over there, but they're doing awesome. So very exciting. Uh, we did also try to contact Arrow Garden Support. We haven't heard anything back and we haven't received anything, uh, a spare pod in the mail yet. Um, it was a little kind of weird to do. One thing that they asked for, which I wasn't expecting. So if you don't know, Arrow Garden has um, <clears throat> a guarantee uh, like germination guarantee on their pods and we had one that we bought from them that didn't sprout um, and we even threw some more seeds in it and it still didn't sprout yeah. like there's something going on with this it's, uh, Napolitano <clears throat> basil basil just never did it yeah um, so we got online filled out this online form well part of the guarantee is that you use the pods in an arrow garden system so they ask for the model number of your arrow garden that you're that you're using along with the um uh what's the batch number what's it called the lot number, the lot number of the the oh. pod itself well the model number is on the bottom of the unit yeah. and it's already full of water <laughs> and we've got plants growing out of it it's plugged in you know all this stuff so we had to very kind of precariously lift it look under it grab the number well the model number is also like six digits and four letters or something like that um three letters i think and so obviously we were entering the whole model number and it wouldn't take it wouldn't take it wouldn't take it um we finally figured out that it was just looking for the number and not the number plus letters so we don't know if we maxed out our attempts to enter a valid model number i, I don't know maybe we'll get a new basil pot in the mail we'll see yeah, so that'd be great yeah. And we have uh, we have two kinds of arrow gardens, and you've seen them in the video. We have a harvest and elite. Mm -hmm. um, two elites and one harvest. Yeah, but uh, it was kind of interesting that yeah. you know the the numbers on the bottom. But yeah. you did a great job. Yeah. And it took us a while to figure out that the whole model number isn't the model number. <laughs> and the, the lot number is on the <clears throat> the kind of the top of the, the pod, little seed pod. Right? Yeah. So yeah. it's like you're not supposed to take those off. And, good thing that we follow those directions because yeah that's where a lot of them are in. yeah anyway we're waiting uh we haven't received confirmation but yep. anyway we're trying they have a great system uh but we'll see yeah so that's our first update um we're growing some stuff and it's fantastic yep. the second update is that we went for a run this morning uh, we haven't done that since the races in january um in florida and california that we did so we were a little nervous, you know, as we mentioned last week, we haven't, we hadn't been as active as we would have liked. Uh, 2024 has been um, kind of a gut punch for us. And we just, uh, you know, we buried ourselves in comfort food and didn't do a whole lot of moving yeah. for a few months. So we're on the other side of that. We're eating better again, uh, or eating normal again. Um, and uh, we're starting to move again. So we found a race, a 5k that we would like to sign up for in Santa Fe. It's in about a month. Um, but we haven't signed up for it yet because I wanted to make sure we would feel okay running because we haven't in a while. Yeah. Not felt okay. We just haven't run. We haven't done it at all. So this morning we got up, we went to the gym, 
and our goal was to just run a mile, see how we do. You know, again, we're we're thinking about signing up for a 5K in about a month, so you know, worst case scenario, holy moly, that's a big curve. Um, worst case scenario, we could, uh, you know, add a mile a week, and then you know, we you know, we're a half mile, whatever. Like we could work our way up if we just started with a mile. That was our thought. Um, but the caveat was, okay. We'll start with a mile. If we feel okay, we can keep running. We totally felt okay. Yeah, we did. So we ended up running for 30 minutes. It was, um, it ended up being about two and a quarter miles. So we're gonna sign up for that 5K when we get home. Uh, the other thing there, so Santa Fe is about two hours away from us. <clears throat> and um, it's not something for, our, say, an 8 a.m. race. We wanna get up and drive to. <laughs> So uh, we're looking at, um, my brilliant plan was to go spend a couple days in Santa Fe. Um, what I am finding is that, um, you know, we went to Santa Fe a few weeks ago on a Sunday and Monday night. What I'm finding is that weekend hotel rates are drastically different than a Sunday and Monday night um, <laughs> uh, hotel rates. So we're rethinking that. Um, we may either not stay in the most touristy area of Santa Fe and find explore a new neighborhood in Santa Fe or we may also stay somewhere else like Los Alamos or something which is would be about a 40 minute drive to the race that morning so TBD we'll see what we decide there but we'll be going somewhere the night before this race so that we don't have to get up at five in the morning to get there am I missing anything no, I think that's pretty That's much our it. update. Yeah, we're that's we're pretty update. we're pretty excited about the run this morning. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't you know long, but it, it felt it felt okay. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're yep. Get to it. Yep. All right. Well, that is our update. I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you haven't, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, you know. It, Let's us know that uh, you like what we're doing, but also lets you know whenever we upload a video, we're doing our best to upload once a week. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay in touch. Uh, you know, uh, drop a comment and uh, let us know how you're doing. It is always an adventure. We